Hey guys, video time. Sorry, just uh, I got to my source today at uh, I left the house at 6:30, so uh, I got here at about 7:30. So I'm just now leaving. Books are going everywhere. Sorry, here I'll kind of see see the books in the back. I got this new car mount dash mount for you know that one melted off, so this one's on there now. So uh, I'm just gonna talk a little bit while I'm driving. It gives me a chance to voice what I'm thinking about my business and let you guys listen so uh but uh yeah these Gaylords I mean they're I found another source also in Oklahoma they can get me uh 15 Gaylords a week they're not pre-sorted though they're just going to be your basic $25 Gaylords or $50 Gaylords or whatever they are you know probably you know I guess you buy them in bulk they give you a better price you know 50 bucks a Gaylord but you're gonna have a lot of trash in them, so you know. Um, I may not get any of those yet. I may drive over to Oklahoma and just take a look at their facility and see, because uh, I would have to have basically an incinerator or something to burn the rest of the crap, or end up hauling the stuff back to a recycler to, to get rid of all the, the coals. So, you know, it's something I may not even do. Um, but here, I'm trying to look at this while I'm talking to you guys. Okay, the camera's over there. Okay. But, uh, yeah, so, I mean, I may not even do it, so, uh, but the inventory, I got so much inventory again, guys, that it's, uh, it's crazy, and, uh, but we're processing, uh, a Gaylord every two days, so basically, uh, the hardback Gaylords, they're six to seven hundred in a Gaylord, roughly, um, you know, but the most of the time I can use, you know, not, not all of them, uh, you know, a lot of times when you go down to very good or good, you're even a hardbacks, you're having to compete with Jensen and uh, Hippo, Murph. You know, these guys, they, these guys will take a profit of 20 cents on a book or 15 cents on a book. But a lot of, you know, if you guys really look at when you're listing something, or even when I'm using my Scout app on Inventory Lab, look, look at look at the bot look at the, the price of the thing that you're buying. So say this these books cost me 25 cents or 50 cents or whatever they cost, I don't care. Whatever they cost, okay. When you use an inventory scout, you can properly you can put in your buy cost and you can hit any of those numbers and it'll tell you all your fees, outbound shipping, inbound shipping, you know, every, out to Amazon, and it'll tell you exactly how much it's costing you to ship to I mean how how much the order is. So basically you can see uh, a lot of these people are taking a loss on their product. I mean you'll you'll see people selling stuff for three forty nine, three eighty nine, four oh one. You run your numbers in, you put in no buy cost. Did you say you got it for free? They're making like four cents, five cents on an item. I mean, total stupidity. I mean, just total stupidity on, on how people are not aware of, of their buy cost and how much they're, they're you know, I'm not going to send in anything unless I don't make a dollar. You know, I had, you know, I was going through some of the stuff yesterday and I went through maybe a hundred books and I pulled out. You know, 15 or 16 that weren't any good. I mean, I, w I wasn't going to make any money off of them, you know. Um, some of them were paperbacks. Some of them were just books that, uh, you know, some of the, you know, when, when you go down to very good and good, you know, especially with good, when you get books that have got highlights and dog ears and, you know, the back, you know, back cover's kind of torn or something like that, you know, you can't do much with it. So, I mean, you know, when you, like I said, when you go to good and you go good and very good, you're gonna have Jensen, Hippo, and Murph on almost every order, and uh, those guys, I know for a fact, I've seen Murph and I've seen Jensen, and they all price their stuff like 425. Every book they have is like 425. So, uh, not all of them, but I mean, I mean, a great majority of their stuff is 425. Uh, that's I think that's just their flat rate. But you know, I'm not willing to take 17 cents on a or 13 cents on a book. I mean, it's just not my t worth my time to, to do that. So, I mean. Um, but yeah, we're, I'll shoot a video. We got another rack in the garage. We got two of those power racks now. So uh, on the one rack is all books. The other rack is uh, books at the top, audio, CDs, and then the third shelf is all video games. There's 426 video games on the third shelf. Uh, I'm gonna get to them when I can. Um, what I'm doing now? Last night I worked all the way till 3:30 this morning. Took a two-hour nap. Got up at 5:30. Uh, you guys, if you want to make my numbers, it's 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 not. Let me see. Let me let me kind of phrase. It's not hard and it's not easy. Um, 
what I mean is it's not hard is is uh, it's not impossible to do what I mean by not easy is I hate to say you got to work your ass off um, you got to work your ass off um, it's a lot of work um, a lot of driving especially with books it's a lot of physical labor guys a lot of physical labor um, you're gonna have a lot of times where you know your back's hurting you got a headache um, you know like like now my daily routine with my daughter is we do books from we do books from 7 to 3 okay and we'll eat lunch we sometimes we yesterday went to a thrift store and got some I got some good stuff at the I'll, I'll tell you the video got some good stuff at the thrift store yesterday um, but usually every day now Monday through Friday 7 to 3 we do books we got 17 boxes going out today like I said uh, two boxes are you know uh, Two boxes is 422 CDs, I think, roughly, give or take. Like I, I don't remember the count. We write them on the box, and then we got a uh, 15 boxes of books going out. So, and the reason I don't do LTV over UPS is because um, my girl, my apartment, picks them up for free. They don't charge me nothing. So, uh, and all I got to do is bring them downstairs, and she picks them up for free. I, even though I have a UPS Smart account, uh, they don't charge me anything. So uh, that's the only reason I use them. And another reason is I don't use LTV is because, like, I know my, my buddy Res from Reezy Resales. Uh, with my stuff, it all goes to Fort Worth now. Every single listing we do now goes uh, 25 minutes away to, to LBJ Freeway, which is uh, 35 minutes from my house. So uh, everything we do goes to Fort Worth. So there's no reason for me to use LTV, even though it's a cheaper rate, you know. But uh, most boxes we ship, uh, every box up to 50 pounds is usually $8 and something cents. So not not costly at all so uh um but yeah i mean you know you see those numbers you know i remember i can tell you right off a year and a half ago i was i was a bartender and i was making a year and a half ago i was making you know whoo, i'm making 50 dollars a day or something like that bartending and, you know now it's you know it's just crazy the numbers you can do uh but you know you guys when i started it was very very um you know, I knew nothing. I knew nothing about what I was doing. And like I said, I think I was the one of the very first or probably the first on YouTube to repair CDs and make videos about it, repair CDs and recase them and all that. I had seen guys shrink wrapping CDs with saran wrap and stuff like that, but I uh, I never saw anything beyond, you know, recasing CDs and stuff like, that. you know, in the bulk that I do. You'd see some guys like trying to repair or recase something that they had personally that they were trying to fix, but um, yeah, so I mean, it's just uh, yeah, I'm getting bigger and bigger. Um, I'm probably gonna have to go to a warehouse pretty soon, uh, due to the fact that I can buy so much supply now. And like I said, I've got more sources on Craigslist that have called me and they deal with thousands of items. Uh, my source in Oklahoma, I got a source up, I have a source up north that called me and they do CDs by the 18 wheeler and uh. Shipping, I think, is like the for them to bring a freight down. It's like four hundred and something dollars for them to ship it down, or something like that, or four or five hundred bucks for them to bring it down on an eighteen wheeler, or something like that. So, uh, but I mean, what, what what would anybody do unless you've got a warehouse and you've got five big big monster machines to repair? They make these monster machines that repair, you know, uh, I don't know, a hundred, a couple, two or three hundred an hour. But there, of course, those machines are thirty five thousand or forty thousand dollars. So. Uh, until you get to that bulk, nobody, I don't think anybody's going to be buying 18 wheelers full of CDs because you're talking 100,000 CDs at a time. I mean, it's just an obscene amount of CDs that you probably wouldn't get to in a year, a year and a half, maybe two years. I mean, but uh, another thing, guys, I was, I was on here yesterday. Uh, be careful who you listen to. Um, if they don't, if they don't post, sorry, guys, I'm driving. If they don't post screenshots, if they, I saw one guy yesterday that said he was, um, it was on another another page. He's like, well, you know, I'm, I, I list everything with my phone, and I'm by myself, and I made six hundred thousand dollars last year or this year. I work fifteen hour days. I'm by myself, and I haven't done a hundred thousand yet. So I mean, you know, or two hundred, you know, whatever. I make. I don't even add it up. You know, whatever. So, but you know, you gotta, you guys, kind of anybody can say anything on the internet, especially Facebook and YouTube. You know, and I like I said, I post my my price, my my numbers and stuff. I don't really. I'm just showing you guys what's possible if you just work. I mean, it's just uh, but these guys that just shout out, ah, oh, you know, I, I'm by myself and I made seven hundred thousand dollars last year. I doubt that seriously, guys. I really do. 
Unless he, you know, unless somebody calls him out on it and says, "Hey, send me a screenshot of your money so far," or send me a screenshot of your sales, you know, your Amazon sales chart. It's like Rez does. I know Rez. I've seen this summer. He, he sends me, he PMs me his numbers. His, his legit. He, he, you know, uh, but you know, he's got six people working. And like I said, when you get a guy like my buddy Rez, he's been doing it for so long. He's doing doing it ten years, and he's got this system down to where, you know, they got three different locations. Um, and you know he's into a lot of things. He he doesn't really probably do a lot of the, the the grunt work every day anymore. That's why you see him out, you know, sourcing shoes and stuff like that. And he's having a good time, you know, doing it. So uh, I'm glad just like get to that. I'll get to that point where I, I'm out doing sourcing and um, I'll have people just doing all the other stuff. So, um, but uh, until he gets to that point, I mean, I you know, my goal was basically twenty thousand dollars, like I said, in sales per 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 month, which brings you home about. Like my video shows you, it brings you home about thirteen thousand. So um, uh, this check, like I said, be you know normally uh, what am I? I forgot what the thing was I posted. Well, I was already at four thousand, and I still got seven, six days to go. So it'll be close to six thousand for this check, and then you know usually that's what I've been averaging every two weeks is six. So you figure twelve thousand, and then uh, I'm definitely going to move out of my apartment pretty soon. It's not you know I just when you have a lease, you don't want to break it because then you. Then he goes on your credit, and they hit you for, you know, three, four thousand dollars for something stupid. So I mean, even though I can afford a house right now, uh, I don't know what area I want to buy. There's a, there's three different areas I want to buy, and the houses are nice, and you know, the rents like the lease is like two thousand. So I think I posted some pictures a while back of them. So um, that's the step, you know. So, but uh, yeah, uh, I short, short video. I don't want to rant, guys. It's just talking. So um, you guys need anything? Holler, and I'll um, talk to you guys soon.